Good morning, welcome or welcome back to another vlog. We are starting a weekly vlog today. Today's Mother's Day. Um, I just got ready. I'm not in the mood to do my hair. So we just put it up in a little headband. And I'm honestly just wearing some athletic wear because y'all, I knocked out last night. I took my Benadryl and knocked out because these allergies have been like killing me. My eyes are itching so bad. That's why I don't have lash extensions on. Um, but I'm gonna put them on today. I'm gonna put them back on. I just didn't have time this morning. And we still have to get like some Mother's Day stuff because last night we were out, like I was out all day yesterday. So I had zero time. So we're gonna go to breakfast first and then we come back. We're gonna get her her little balloons, her card and everything. I already have her gifts. Um, Just need to like pack everything up. Um, But yeah, we're gonna go to breakfast at the usual spot. Um, And I'm so excited, I'm starving. So we ended up going out and um, getting her this balloon. And then we got her these flowers um, with this little stand in it. And I didn't even know Kroger like did that where like they wrap it. But it's these pretty little flowers. I don't know if you can see. And then we got her this card um, that opens up and says like love you lots. So I just got back from the gym. I went really quick. I wasn't feeling good. So I took a nap because my eye was like so red. It's not as red anymore. But like yesterday was this eye and this eye is red today so i put some eye drops in and it's a lot better it was so red with my allergies i'm not doing well at all um i've been taking honey because i got local honey um which has been making it a lot better but to, like yesterday it was so bad i was sneezing like a million times my like snot was literally just running down my nose and my eyes were red um they were so itchy like if you guys have any home remedies besides local honey um, I had to take a Benadryl last night and knocked out, but obviously I can't take one during the day because it's um, drowsy and you know non-drowsy remedy. Um, if you guys have any, please help your girl out because I'm literally dying every single day with all of these um, allergies. But I'm going to go inside and shower and we're going to go to Target and Marshalls to get some goodies that I've been looking for. And we can just like do everything and fix everything up that I'm planning on getting. Um, once we get those goodies, so I'm in the mood to go shopping. Today's Sunday, so we're going to go shopping. I'm looking for comforter sets because I really need a new white one and then also like a black blanket. This one is cute. It's 25, yeah. But it's a little bit too big. Um, I kind of want like a medium size because I don't need that much. But I did find this one. Um, it's 80, yeah, I think, yeah, $80. I like the pattern though because I don't want just like plain white. And I think this one has like a cute little pattern on it. Um... I definitely still need to keep looking because $80 is crazy. Okay, perfect. They actually have one right here. And it's cute and it's cozy for my client bed. So we're going to take this one. So, so far I found this Under Armour t-shirt. It doesn't even look like this color in person. It's like a nice color. On your tan. It's going to be a tight fit and it's only 9 bucks. So it's going to be cute for the gym. And then I found this one. That's from the Yogalicious brand and it's like a crop top and also a little tennis or golf skirt, which I've been wanting to buy more, but they only have it in size small. It's so cute. Um, it's 30, but I feel like I can find something similar to this for less. Um, but it's so cute and it's such a good material. And I feel like this would be good for the trip that I'm about to go on too. So, so I, oh, and it has pockets. It literally has pockets, but so cute. And then I found these little oh these are wrist weights you can um put them on your ankles and they're on clearance for 12 dollars which is a really good deal because these are normally super expensive especially that they look like this so expensive so i think i'm gonna just get them um they're a pound each so we're gonna just get them so i found the socks that i've been looking for these are the ankle socks that i wear to the gym and i just like these way better than like the regular like tall high socks that i have to like throw down these are way cuter and they're very comfortable from Target. So I'm gonna pick these up because I really need some more. My socks go missing like crazy. They have these pillows, um, but they have the white one over there. It's and they're 15. So I'm gonna get one. Where is it at? I could have sworn we just saw it. Yeah. Super cute. I'm gonna take one home because I've been wanting like a body pillow so bad. So I'm gonna get this. I've been looking for tennis rackets. Ooh, I've also been looking for a running waist pack because I've been trying to get into more hobbies. And I got one on Shein, but I just don't know where it is. 
but I want to use that to just keep my phone in because I already shattered it going on my first run. So I want to get something like that. I'll probably just reorder it off Shein. But they do have a lot of stuff like this. If y'all have any recommendations for starting runners, please let me know because I'm really trying to start doing all that. They are very expensive. I didn't even think that they were going to cost that much. But I want to start playing tennis. So I'll probably look on like Facebook Marketplace to like try to find them. But I really, really want to play tennis. So I've been looking to get another planner because mine is like literally on the last month. So I need July. Um, so I found this one. Has it all the way up to, I think, yeah, 2023 to 2024. So we're going to pick this up. I think I'm going to just go with the regular pads that I always get. These. Just regular size. I think I'm going to just go with these because I really, really need them. I've been wanting to try period underwear. Ooh, these feel so comfortable. So I'm back home now and you guys saw what I ended up getting. Um, this like Under Armour t-shirt y'all saw. The ankle weights. Um, and then I got some of the bedding. They're getting this bedding from Home Goods. It's white but it has a little bit of a texture. I think it's so cute and it was on clearance for um 60 instead of 80 so I got it. It was I think yeah three piece set. Um super cute and then i also got this black blanket for my lash bed i don't know for some reason i just felt like i needed a black blanket to add on i already have satin sheets um and then like a white blanket on top but i feel like this would be cute to be like i don't know i'm trying to make it comfier if y'all know what i mean and i did also get from amazon i need to get those things out this like leg thing to put them to put their legs on so that's kind of why i got this black blanket so we can kind of like hover over it um so it's not like i don't have to get like a separate comforter for this i just feel like all together it'll be super comfy but today has been super eventful so i will literally see you guys tomorrow um when we're heading to the gym and i got a full day of work too so I just got back from the gym i showered and everything um i actually went on a run today ran two miles i'm trying to run two miles every single day before my trip at least two miles i'm trying to like work my way up um because it's taking me some time but right now i already have my whole room prepped um for my clients to come in i have three clients today um and i pretty much have like 30 minutes uh left so i'm gonna try to get a little snack um real quick but i'm taking my chlorophyll and my allergy medicine i actually do need to go take like a spoonful of um honey to help with my allergies because my eyes aren't as red anymore so thankfully it's getting better but they're still itching so bad and we're ready i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with my hair i was planning on doing a little blowout look but that's we don't have time for that so i pretty much got everything set up i absolutely love how my new bedding came out it looks so nice my new pillow as well um but yeah i got the snack rack all set up and i got my new little thing set up right here as well the um thing for like your legs to help my mom tested it out said it was comfortable i tested it out i think it's way more comfortable so we'll see what they say but i need to turn that light on too my face is still super red from um the run because i haven't like cooled down completely but i'm gonna clean up my room a little bit more turn on all my lights and i'm gonna start lashing so right now we're heading to my boyfriend's house because we're gonna go to the strawberry field today i'm so excited i love strawberry picking but i'm gonna get on the phone with my dad and call him tell him all the tea from last night with the neighbors i'm not gonna really say anything but we heard everything there were cops at the neighbor's house um yeah it was crazy and we kind of let him sleep because he works in the morning so um yeah i want to let him in on everything that happened because i literally heard everything Damn. I got a good amount, but there are literally so many people here. I don't even think they're going to make it to the end. But there's, like you can see, there's literally nothing left. There's so many people here. So I'm like struggling to fill it up. But it was like $17, so we're going to have to fill it up um, one way or another. I have to keep like hopping these things because there's none left in my aisle. And I have to like double check that they're good because some of them aren't. We're gonna go cycle and then Zumba. I've
making myself a little breakfast bagel with like just eggs um and on an everything bagel and i'm making myself a little protein coffee at home i got this mocha pot um that i've been trying out and it's been pretty good and i just use it with my fair life protein shake and that's gonna be my breakfast for this morning um i have three clients one full set one fill in and then a removal so today's like a lighter day kind of um i'm excited to rest I have a Zumba class planned for tonight, but I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to go because I've just been working my butt off. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll just walk on a treadmill here at my house because um, I didn't even get time to go on a run this morning. So we'll see. Um, but I'll talk to you guys after I finish lashing. So I finished working, got myself a nice protein um, Starbucks and we're in Target. And I'm just shopping around. I need to find like a few little things, but this is normally what I do after I finish. Um, my hands are like spazzing out today. Um, I think just because I haven't had much of a break, but um, and my boyfriend stopped by today after I finished work as well. So then I picked up some Starbucks and I'm here now. So I ended up getting two things from Target. I found this cute workout shirt. And I've really been like, my confidence has been going up in the gym and I also am going to a new gym now so I'm comfortable enough to like wear crop stuff because I'm not like around creepy men. It's mainly people who are my age if not a little bit, like in their mid to late 20s. So I feel fine wearing crop tops now because people don't like creepily stare. Anyways, I got this like hot pink um, little crop top from the, what is this, the All in Motion? And I got an extra small so it could be like... Still a little bit baggy but still cropped you know it's cute and i've been liking like bright colors so that's the vibe lately um and then i also got this um it's gonna sound weird but let me explain this is the um maximum strength diaper rash paste and i have been um it's mainly this armpit that has been darkening and i don't know why um well i kind of know why probably like they say it's hormonal if it's not like just like whatever medication you're on which I'm not on medication, but I know it's hormones um, because I'm also breaking out like right here on my jawline. And when you're breaking out your jawline, typically because it's hormonal acne. So because I've been doing research and I've been trying to use the Kojic Acid. I've been trying to use the PFB Vanish because that's what I used to use. And then I stopped using it. Um, This is what I was using before. So I didn't really use this too, too much on my armpits anymore. So I guess since I stopped using it, like it's something you have to be consistent with. Um, I like literally was not doing anything to my underarms. So I think that in combination with like hormones really lighten, I mean, no darkened my underarms. And again, this one is darker than this one is. So it's just kind of weird. And I, it's something that I'm like self-conscious about. So again, looked it up and it's the zinc oxide that has the lightening properties it helps a lot with hyperpigmentation so i've been seeing these people on um tiktok also using it on their face i am not gonna use it on my face but a lot of people also buy zinc oxide like the little powder mix it in and make a mask and let it sit but i'm just getting this um cream because it's 40 percent zinc oxide so we're gonna try it out um this was only two dollars and it's a pretty big tube um so I'm excited to try it out because I definitely did my research and looked up if it was safe. And it is safe. You can apply it like as many times as you want throughout the day. I think I'm just going to do it morning and night to see how fast it happens. But I'm excited because I saw a lot of Hispanics using this too. So that's when I was like, okay, maybe I should definitely try it. Because a lot of Hispanic remedies um, do work very well and fast. So I'm excited to try this. And like you can use it on your bikini area, um, underarms, elbows, knees. But I'm going to use it um, on my underarms. And it, if it helps then I will maybe try downstairs, but for now, I just stick to the PFB Vanish, and that's, and the Kojic Acid I've been using too. I let it sit, because I know that's what really makes it work. So, um, I'll let you guys know if this helps. Um, Target's like my favorite after work activity um, that I just like to go and do. See, this is so cute. This is such a bright color. Um, I know I look crazy right now, but, and I need to do my lashes tonight. Like, I need to do them so bad. I've just been waiting because my eyes have been bothering me and i i need lashes this is embarrassing i'm a lash tech with no lashes so but i'm gonna have a chill night because it's eight o'clock right now and i don't really have anything to do so i'm just gonna chill we ordered some pizza because we went to costco and costco is remodeling their whole like food court so that was a bum because costco sells 1.99 like slices and it's 44 grams of protein 
which is crazy so i was just gonna eat that to get my protein like hit my protein goal but we got some dominoes instead which is still so good so i'm gonna eat my pizza and i'm gonna chill i'm gonna try to find a show to watch if you guys have any show recommendations let me know because i don't watch tv like that i don't really have time to watch tv so i'm i guess i'm just gonna try to figure out because i just watch youtube and i'm caught up on everyone in my subscriptions so i need to figure something out hi guys happy thursday i think it is yeah thursday i woke up this morning went to the gym and i've like i feel like in my new gym i just cannot film any videos yet but i'm getting there y'all saw me film abs yesterday but um i went to the gym sunday so today's my last like lifting day and then my boyfriend came over because today was like semi off day i didn't start working until three um and then i had three clients it's 8 30 right now and i'm going to get my facial i'm so freaking excited this facial is it's so it's really really needed and i'm so freaking excited y'all don't know how much i love getting facials and my friend jocelyn does them bomb and she usually does them after i do her lashes but um we're going to her place today and we're gonna get it done because she has like a cute little room set up so i'm so excited to get my facial but yeah that's where i've been all day i need to do a little bit better with filming but obviously with every week we're gonna start doing weekly vlogs so with every week i'm gonna be getting better and you guys just kind of get to see like what i do throughout the week which is a lot easier than like planning videos and it kind of takes me a while to edit them because i'm busy i just feel like it's easier to film my realistic everyday life um because it, it is eventful and it's easier than just grabbing little snippets of like clips and putting it together into one video um i just kind of like this one better so let me know if you guys like weekly vlogs more um because i think they're a lot more realistic and i think you guys will like them a lot better so i have arrived um to our house for the facial and i'll see you guys when i'm getting my facial i'm so freaking excited Everything to get no fast I don't care what you knew me in the past tense. I ain't no drill like style, this ain't no last dance. Way past it. Way. You know my ex, cause he validate me. You know, but check, I don't want no receipt. I ain't get possessed, let my space speak freely. Hey, my past can't escape me. My pussy precedes me. Why my how the time change? I'm still playing the victim, and you still playing the pick me. It's so embarrassing. All of the things. But at first, it's like she has a lot at first. You ain't getting your bitch back. Calm down, she could be yours, never say that. I don't want to pipe down, rather get paid back. Mama told me, never sit where you lay at. I don't want righteousness, I hurt too much. I lost too much, I lost too much. I hit my nut and boom. For a day, pop out the tune. I like when you put your gun at the red light. I like it all together. <laughs> Best esthetician who does facials. What am I saying? Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Finally, we made it to the end of the week and we're going on to the weekend. I had a rough start to my morning. That's why I look like I'm in a mood if you can tell. But this morning I woke up to an email that my advisor sent me for my classes and like just confirmation. And I have two summer classes that I'm signed up for that start in June and then four fall classes. And she had it listed as three fall classes. And I was like freaking out because it's like, it's just gonna throw my whole timeline off for graduation. So when I saw that, I checked my classes on the school page and it was true, it was only three. And I had a picture from when I signed up for classes back in like March, February, um, that I had four classes and that class is nowhere to be found anymore. And it says that if I want to go, it's one, a time confliction and it's like from 4.30 to 7 p.m. I'm not going to downtown Atlanta at 4.30 to 7 p.m. So I had to choose a different class. So I fixed that, thankfully. I was just like freaking out. 
Um, but I tried to switch one of my summer classes because I saw the teacher that I wanted to get had a spot open. So I dropped out of the other class. I went into that one and now I'm waitlisted on both. So I guess it was lying or somebody took the spot because there's just no way. And now I'm like super frustrated. So I came to get some Starbucks and I got myself some little donuts as well because I'm just not in a good mood and I have to work today after clients. So I'm just like really stressed out right now. And the new Summer Walker album came out. So I'm excited. I'm just listening that to like soothe my nerves because I'm just stressed out right now. But I will talk to you guys later tonight because my mom is actually gonna make me feel better. We're gonna go watch a movie. So, um, we're just gonna get home to snacks and watch a movie at home and I will probably see you guys then after I finish working. So I just finished lashing and we went to go pick up some Domino's pizza and some Frontera, like the chips and queso and the salsa also so that we can eat it and figure out how to put on um, the new Fast and the Furious movie. I really hope this is the right movie. <laughs> yeah, it's the antagonist. Okay, cause I haven't even watched yeah, I literally haven't even watched the trailer, but we got it to work somehow. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. It's the last day of this weekly vlog, and we're getting ready to go on a run. Um, I'm shooting for three miles today. I usually do. I started off with 1.5, and then I did two, and now we're going for three. It's the weekend. So we need to try to go for three. I'm going to try to go around here um, and make my way up to three miles. Hopefully, we can do it. I am so tired because I just worked, um, I worked at 8 a.m. this morning to do um, a full set of lashes, but I want to get these miles down. We have six weeks until my vacation, so we need to hurry it up and just start running a lot more often. I brought my little Lululemon belt bag and I have like, well, my other part. And then I got some pepper spray um, because you just, you never know. I'm at a mile and a half and I got honked at. If I do it that way like this, he proceeded to follow me. I know for a fact he circled back around and tried to go in like a middle lane to go to a neighborhood. But I started walking instead of running. And then he came back from the neighborhood, came back out. And by the time I went through the sidewalk to pass, to pass through the entrance of the neighborhood, he literally honked at me and said, hey, and rolled down his window. And I was on the phone with my boyfriend, so I started running. Um, well, just like calmly jogging, but I don't understand. That was a grown man, and I hope I don't see his car again. I couldn't really tell what kind of brand it was, but I think it's time to turn around since I hit a mile and a half, and today's goal was three miles. But I wanted to make it far enough from my house that he wouldn't see where I live because that was just creepy. I look a mess, but that was so creepy. And like, I feel like guys aren't any help in those situations because my boyfriend was like, just go a different way. And the opposite that I, way that I was gonna walk towards is towards my house. So, a mess. And I kind of don't like walking slash running around where I live because people honk and eventually you can see where I live. So I don't really like that. But I just don't like the fact that I have to go get in my car and drive to a park for me to get a, a quick couple miles in. We made it the three miles. I'm so happy. That's my new goal um, that I have for running slash walking. And I'm so freaking happy hopefully we can keep beating it but that's good um i just did not have enough water to continue and i'm getting tired and i i only ate a bagel today so um i'm gonna go shower and then i'll show you guys what i got from plato's um they had their gym wear sale so i'm gonna show you guys after i shower so i just got out the shower i just still need to brush my hair so don't mind my hair but i want to show you guys what i got from plato's um i got a couple of stuff they're good things i got there late because like i said i was lashing this morning at 8 a.m and i did not get there till like 10 30. so surprised i even found like decent stuff name brand stuff so i'm gonna show you guys what i got so first i got these athletica athleta athletica i think um running shorts and i've been wanting more running shorts because obviously i'm running more often so I got these and they're very cute. I like the color. It's like a nice burgundy. Um, and these were like the only shorts I fit that I tried on because there was a whole bunch of Gymshark ones. Like they did not fit this way. And those shorts were actually, I think like $7. These are the Airy crossover flared leggings. Well, no, these are yoga pants. And I love the brown color, as you can tell. Brown sports bra and brown yoga pants. I love these. These fit perfectly. They're medium. Um, and these were ten dollars. 
And then I just got these, which are Abercrombie Fitch biker shorts. They fit really good, and they were only, oh, they were 12 bucks. But it's a size extra small, um, but I'm planning to lose weight here um, since we've been running. But I love the way they felt, so I wanted to get them, and thankfully they fit, and they're not, like, super tight. The material is amazing. And then as for tops, I found this Gymshark um, t-shirt. It's, like, a cute little crop top for 10 bucks, and I've actually been looking for t-shirts like this and then i found two gymshark um sports bras i think this is like a creamy i literally can't tell if this is like a light pink or if this is like a cream color um but on camera it looks white so it's a gymshark like ruched sports bra um super cute i got this in a medium and then previously i had ordered one um, I think in one of my last few vlogs that was um, an extra small because I was like the only size available and I found a black extra small so I didn't have to try this one on I knew it was going to fit and this one was 10 and this one was 8 oh this is a size small I thought it was a medium small and then extra small I don't know why there was a price difference I wish I noticed that so I can like ask them and then I found this I'm pretty sure it's just from Amazon but it's one of those rib sets and I have the black leggings for this but I don't have any like black tops um so I really wanted this and it was eight dollars so why does it say revolve this is not I don't think this is revolve um anyways super cute and I'm glad I found it because um it was in my size small so cute and then lastly I found this lululemon long sleeve um this was literally right when I was about to leave um and I saw a girl looking in a section but it looks like this I don't think you can tell it's like has a lululemon side I forgot what these are called the lululemon I really forgot but I love this color this color has been like my summer color I don't even know what to call this this is like not like a neon yellow but this was 12 bucks really good deal um if it's so cute and it has little armholes i'm gonna try it on for y'all it's kind of see-through that's the only thing but i'm just gonna use it to run in can y'all just see the vision this shirt is really tight with and the sports bra is like not very full coverage but y'all can see the vision it's a cute color it's gonna look cute when i tan as well and that is all i got that was what cost me 86 dollars which is crazy but i'm happy with what i got i love activewear and i've been getting more confident in the gym to wear crop tops so that's why i kind of i kind of been like switching out but thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog i am so excited to start making weekly vlogs i promise next week's vlog is gonna be way better um i'm actually gonna have like i'm gonna try to ask my clients if they're okay with me filming them at least like just the beginning part um obviously not part of our conversation but just me like lashing them the beginning part i feel like that would be interesting i like watching those type of tiktoks so making them into youtube videos would probably be really fun and interesting for you guys to see and as well as me including more workout videos um since i've been going to a new gym it's kind of like a little bit hard um to film in there but there's literally people who film in there so I need to just get the courage to just film. So I'm going to do it next week and just film like a week of workouts. So stay tuned for next week's vlog. Um, always busy. There's always stuff to do every single week. So um, I think I'm just going to start doing that instead. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.